what is going on my divine my fine as feminine it is scorpion reds i am back at it once again yes indeed to let you know what is going on for your daily bread your daily nourishment for this weekend april the 13th and the 14th yes saturday and sunday yes indeed what is going on ladies what is going on are you ladies ready for your mid months to come out hmm let me tell you because i'm sure ready to record them so listen y'all just be prepared because they will be starting to roll out next week okay so shout out to all my new subscribers thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing if you would like to book a personal and private reading um go ahead and click that about tab there is a hyperlink there for my booking it says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again scorpion reds tarot as simply book me after you book go back to the about tab there is a link for my Instagram page make sure that you click that and you send me a message and say hey I just booked with you for blue 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 okay because we will be connecting on Instagram and or you can use my email address um, which is also located on my page as well or you can uh, contact me through Google Hangouts okay so either Instagram or Google Hangouts okay I only do video chats because that's the best quality so we can you know connect and interact with each other if you guys want um, the add-on where you don't want to get on camera with me um, and you just want me to do a direct video upload that is an additional ten dollars it is an add-on so make sure that you select the type of reading and the add-on if you do not want to get on camera with me okay if this video resonates and if you want to give a love a donation at any time my PayPal information is in the description let's get into the reading all right so ladies 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 Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. We are looking for love, light, positivity, happiness, and sunshine throughout this week. And Father God, it is the springtime. The flowers are finally coming out. The bloom. I got bees flying all over my house. Fall. Oh my goodness. But you know, I, I know they're here to pollinate. We need them. You know, everybody and everything got a purpose, Father God. And you know, that's what we're learning in the name of Jesus is that everything, even though we might not like it, because I damn sure don't like no bees. But I know if it wasn't for the bees, the trees, the flowers, and everything wouldn't bloom and be groomed on this earth. So Father, they all have a purpose. And just like these idiots that been getting on our nerves they had a purpose in this in our life to push us to the point where we're at you know where we're at this divine feminine status right now because honey we were not no divine feminines a couple of months ago we are brand new okay we just boom kicked out the box boom 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 we just jumped out the box like hey here i am I'm, i came here to play i came here to slay okay father god we've been we didn't jumped out the box we didn't jumped off the poach you understand so you know what even though we went through some bs with them fools them trifling fools they have purpose we don't like them we we right now we feel like we don't even need them you know what i'm saying but we know that idiots like that in this world have a purpose and that's to push people to their greatness and father god thank you for allowing us to be able to see that as a divine reason in a divine season for them being in our life and thank god that season is over in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen thank you Je <laughs> come on ladies ladies okay ladies i know y'all felt that one okay listen father please give divine feminine guidance for april the 13th and the 14th saturday and sunday please give us love light joy and happiness and just inspiration and guidance throughout our week and father god thank you for carrying this on your back when we ain't have enough strength to use our own feet to carry us to the promised land. Father God, thank you. We're walking on our own now. We're walking on our own. We're grown now. <laughs> We're our own now. We're our own woman. We know who we are. And we thank you, Father God. Please give us blessings. Please give us guidance. Thank you again. All right. I don't know if y'all felt that one, but I felt that one. Come on, Father. You better let me come on out and speak some words today. Come on. Come on. All right. Father, please give us divine feminine guidance for April 13th and 14th. Thank you so much. Thank you. I was literally just singing a song in my head. All right, we'll pop out creative blocks and change. Mm 
I'm the Empress. What does she have in her hands? It looks like she got milk in her hands. Oh, it's coming out her titties. Oh, come on. You better milk the world. You better come on. Give me some titty milk. Give me the titty milk, girl. What? What? She got milk coming out her titties. She like, listen, you know what I got? Listen, ladies, I don't even feel like, because you know the um, empress represents fertility and pregnancy and things like that. What I'm honestly getting from that, you guys, is you guys are like birthing the milk to feed the nation right now, honey. You are birthing the milk to feed the nation, honey. Your juices. It just, oh, girl, you're juicy. Girl. I just feel like y'all going through some creative blocks or y'all were going through creative blocks and y'all stepped over that. Y'all stepped over that threshold of that creative block and now y'all are able to milk and feed, you know, and nurture whatever this new, like this is new, like y'all giving birth to something new and right now y'all are ready to feed it. Do you get me? Y'all are ready to feed it. What is this? Uncertainty. This is choosing who you will become. Didn't y'all get that the other day? In choices. Feeling blocked. Restrained. Okay. They, okay. Why y'all feeling blocked for? Say creative blocks up there. Choices, feeling blocked down there, feeling restrained, having to go through this change, letting go of heartbreak. Okay. I feel like y'all haven't created blocks, like y'all giving birth to something new, but yet there's still, it, it's, it's like, there's still this level of uncertainty. But it's like y'all have milk literally pouring from your titties. It's like your body is maturing to feed whatever this new thing is, is that it's growing inside of you. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I feel like your body is growing faster than your mind can process it. Does it make does that make sense, ladies? Like, have you ever been pregnant before? And um, and, I, and again, I'm not saying that y'all ladies are pregnant and maybe some of you guys are. However, I'm saying that, have you ever been pregnant before and, it, and it's like way before like your due date, you already feel your body is already producing the milk and you know, you're already starting to lactate a little bit and you're just like, what the fuck? And like, you ain't even had the baby yet and you already having to go get like, um, the breast pads and things like that, you know, because your body is over. It says, stop talking. Ooh, ooh. Oop, 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 oop. Why are you telling somebody stop talking? Hold on, let's, 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 let's get some energy around it. It says, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Oop, oop, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it and stop talking. Oop, divine feminine. Where you living in? Where you living in that you're doing this? What state of the Americas is you living in? The mind feminine. Where you living in? Where you living in right now? Where you living? Where your mind living in right now? It says obstacle and challenges. It seems like you, like you, you're right there about to walk over. Like, like you're overcoming it. Like you're really overcoming it. So like whatever it was that you were thinking about about to do like don't do that shit like you so close to like what the fuck temptation y'all better stop talking to the temptation i know y'all not over there talking to the temptation or y'all thinking about talking to the temptation are y'all talking to the temptation y'all better not y'all better listen 
A. A, A, A. Mm. I want to turn my music up. I don't got time for YouTube today, man. Because, like, if it's certain artists and stuff like that, they won't just, like, not monetize your video. Like, I don't give a damn about the monetizing. But they'll block your video worldwide because it has the music playing in the background. And I'm like, hold on. Now, it's one thing if, if I can't get a coin off of it, whatever little $2, $3 it is, that I'm going to get off of the dang video. But damn, like, for you to block it worldwide, we can't nobody see it. Like, good gracious. That's, 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 how rude. Okay? In my Stephanie voice, how rude. Y'all disrespecting. Y'all disrespectful. I just want vibe. I just want vibe. Okay? Okay, what is this? Attractione. It's somebody that's trying to communicate with you. That you to, <laughs> ain't really trying to communicate on no level like that. But there's still some attraction there. But you don't like that motherfucker like that. Okay. You're like, why the fuck is you even messaging me, Pa? What is going on with you? Okay. Somebody ain't forgiving and learning about something. What you not trying to forgive? What's going on here, girls? Alright, last deck, ladies. Then we about to get into the meat and potatoes. Unawakened. Oh, that person. You said that person attractive, but they unawakened. <laughs> and you like, listen, I'm trying to forgive and learn. I'm focused on my money. Okay, I'm focused on my money, honey. I'm focused on the money. Focus on the money and fighting temptation because I ain't got no time. I ain't got no time. Okay? And I don't even know why this person is messaging me, but he need to stop messaging me. And he's messaging me still trying to, you know, show me that he's a good man and that he's in control of himself and everything. Like, no, you're not, nigga. Get the fuck out of here. I got choices. I got to make choices. I got to make better choices in my life, motherfucker. You already showed me you ain't shit and you already broke my heart, bitch. It's time for a change. Okay, did I already read goddamn um, Friday and we ain't, I mean, um, Sunday and we ain't even t get to Sunday? Okay. You like, listen, I got choices to make. I ain't got time for this shit. I ain't got it to do. Damn it, coffee out is a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Y'all almost, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, ladies. Oh my goodness, ladies. Stop, hold on, but it was so good. Hold on. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh. See, that's like how the Divine Masculine used to be to y'all. You know that shit hot as shit. Oh, almost took my tongue off. Oh, but it tastes so good. You just wanted to, you, you couldn't even just wait for it to cool off. You just wanted to just, just you ain't even care if you burnt your tongue. You just, just crazy as hell. And just reckless. Okay, anyway. So the sense of energy here is creativities. Creativities is being blocked. Creativities is being blocked and dropped it. And let's find out why. It says you are an artist. And like Miss Erica Badu said, I'm an artist. And I'm sensitive about my shit, bitch. Okay, come on, Miss Erica. Miss Erica's. Okay, so I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. And I'm having create blocks right now. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. Okay? I offer this good. Hold on. Here we go. First off, let's clock that first thing. If you are an artist of any kind, you can offer all work to the divine, making it God's alone. So whatever it is that you do, if you do um, cooking, if you do dancing, if you draw, um, I feel like if you guys, um, I want to say like even work with kids and things like that, I, I think that that in itself... Um, is like art like working with little kids teaching them crafting and things i really do see that's what i see i see someone sitting down with like a group of like maybe five and six and seven year olds and they are like teaching them how to do like the clay the uh the clay pot and or, or their um 
teach them how to paint the, the, the clay pots and just um, making like popcorn streamers and uh, growing plants, like uh, teaching little kids um, agriculture, like how to grow vegetables, growing gardens and things like that. Like I see a lot of that. Um, I, I, and, and particularly I see a woman teaching little kids to do this thing. So, hold on, my um, battery's about to go dead. So, with that being said, and I hope that y'all can hear me under this table. Anyway, with that being said, I feel like whatever type of thing that, th that whatever thing that this is that you do, this art, your craft, whatever it is that you're good at, I feel like if you um, focus more on that energy and just like doing it out of out of your heart and just offering your gift to God, I feel like so much more will come of it. Like whatever playing field that you're playing with it at right now, it'll grow to a level <laughs> where you couldn't even just like your mind couldn't even fathom, honestly. Because I feel like this is something that it is something that you feel is something close to your heart that makes you happy. But if you truly offer it to the divine, it could change your life. And this creativity, um, why well, I keep saying creativity? This, uh, this creative block will be completely removed because I feel like it'll have a different purpose, you know? And your heart and your mind will just open up. It'll be like a floodgate pouring in because it'll, it'll You'll have a different purpose and it'll have a different light on it. And it'll never stop glowing. It'll never, like that flame will never not burn in regards to this passion again because it has a divine purpose now. It's not just because it's something that you like to do. You've opened it up to something greater than you. Does that make sense? So anyway, it says, I offer this for the highest good to the benefit of the planet. I just said something about like someone um, doing agriculture, growing plants. Um, release me from any blocks and restrictions. May this serve all who need. And it, listen, look the, the damn bees and all of that shit in the plants. And honestly, like when I was talking, I really wasn't even looking at the cards to really pay attention to the plants and the bees and everything like that. I was just talking based off of what I was seeing in my head. Um, yes, I feel like a lot of you guys are going to do, like maybe, y'all know like those little neighborhood gardening plots and stuff like that. Like, do that and like offer it to like i always come up with these little business plans and stuff like that but shit, it, look if any of y'all be coming up and if y'all end up millionaires off of any of this bullshit, i'll be this pimp and i'll be giving y'all on this shit. y'all make sure y'all send me five dollars okay listen so what i'm seeing is and i've told a few of my ladies before in the personal readings um so i'm giving y'all a little treat of what we do in the personal readings what i'm seeing in this card ladies um like i said i'm definitely seeing someone working with kids or just showing a group of people in general about how to grow plants and how to paint how to cook or whatever but it's like what when they're doing this it's like a kind of like a community thing where Y'all are having like enriching conversations where everything that you are planting, you're talking about how important it is to the environment and how important you are to the plant and how important you are to continue, you know, this art and, you know, each one teach one and y'all talk about life issues and somehow it all correlates with the art that y'all are doing or whatever it is that y'all are doing creatively. It's like y'all are pouring this thing that y'all are co um, connecting in. and maybe it just might be a soul group thing maybe you guys might um create a soul group that's why i said look the empress you guys are creating right now do you understand what i'm saying you guys are creating a soul group you guys are creating an environment and you guys are milking it you guys are your body and your mind at this point is producing 
way fast and way far beyond where your mind can even adjust itself to right now you know you're you're being spiritually moved to do things that you don't even understand right now so why i feel like you're having this uncertainty choose who you will become i feel like your body is all is doing all of this shit that you don't understand. So it's like, how can I choose who I'm going to become when I don't even understand what my body is doing right now? You know, and I want to say, like, maybe some of you guys are almost in a denial about where your life is changing and where it's heading and it's going because you're still standing here at this crossroads looking over at the vast land figuring out if you really want to go over there even though you know that the future is brighter you know and so spirit is saying whatever you're thinking about don't do it and i think that this is what you're thinking about just continuing to stand there looking stupid and not making a move okay now is not the fucking time now is not the time for you to just fucking stand there Okay, so whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. You're thinking about just standing there and being stagnant and not moving ahead. Now it's not the fucking time, bitch. Wake up. You get me? You smell me. Okay, okay. You have come so fucking far. Do you see how fucking close you are? You can literally step your foot over to the other side and reach that other side of the success. You have come that fucking far in this journey. If you stall and just stand there or turn around and go backwards, I'm going to fuck you up personally myself. Girl, do you see? You have come so freaking far. So far. You have beat the challenges. You have crossed that bridge of change. You have done it. You're not stuck here no more. You're not stuck here no more. You're not dealing with the obstacles and challenges no more. You're at the other side about to walk over to your happiness. But for some reason, you're just standing there. And it's just like, we don't have time for that. We don't have time for that. And I feel like the reason why... You're not satisfied and where this creative block is coming from is because I feel like you're not getting any messages from people that you're attracted to. I feel like you have been having a lot of people trying to approach you in regards to love and been message you, you know, been in your DM and stuff. But it's not nobody that you're attracted to. You don't want these messages. You want someone that you can go out and smell the roses with someone that you're attracted to. Okay. These are people that are not awakened. You're on a different level now. Okay? You need someone that's where you're at. Okay? We surely don't have no time to be dealing with nobody that's unawakened. And, I, you know, I can't even be mad at you, Divine Feminine, because I don't want to deal with someone that I'm not attracted to and that I don't feel like is on the same wavelength as me. So, I can understand your frustration. But don't allow it to block you create, you know, creatively because I feel like you're allowing, you just feeling like you're unlucky in love to, but how these damn cards go? Because we ain't about to do this because, you know, I feel like yesterday the cards got all, all skit scattered. Yes. Thank you. All right. So, in regards to Sunday, ladies, in regards to Sunday, change. It says, don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that next action. You can say to love, just show me the first step and change me into the one who can take it. So again, don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. All you need is that one next action. So again, we're going to go back to this spread here. Okay, ladies, we're going to go back to this spread here. Okay. 
all you need is that one next action right so you guys were created were creatively blocked why i can't talk oh my god you guys had a creative block and your body is growing and your mind and everything you're spiritually growing faster than what you understand is 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 you know cohabitating in your body right now right but the only thing you have to do is not be scared to take this change. Only thing you have to do to change is just take that one next step. And you're scared about the next 40 steps and you ain't take the first one. Listen, you are already there. Only thing you got to do is just walk over that damn bridge, honey. You have come very, very far. That's why God is trying to tell you. Whatever it is that you've been thinking about doing it, now is not the fucking time. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. So I don't know if y'all have been... Because I see the temptation is here. And Spirit is trying to tell you to stop talking to the Emperor. Because I feel like... I feel like... This is someone who already broke your heart, right? Right? This is someone who already broke your heart that forced this change, that forced you to morph into this butterfly, okay? And the only reason why you're scared to move forward is because you're still in this element. You understand what I'm saying? Because I don't want to see this third-party heartbreak shit looming around, period. We need to get completely past this shit, okay? Okay? Just like this card is ripped right here. I feel like it kind of ripped a little piece of your soul a little bit. And the only thing about this is that it just put fear in your heart. Because you, 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 you know that you have choices. With changes come choices. Do you understand? Now that you've changed and you realize what true heartbreak is. What true betrayal is. You felt it. You tasted it. You smelt it. You dealt it. Okay, you might have dealt some of it yourself in this situation. All right, ain't none of us perfect. Sometimes when motherfuckers be wanting to play dirty, we can get down and rumble and play dirty with a motherfucker too. And some of us have shown people that. Okay, hurt people hurt people, right? So you experienced all of that to know that you have choices to make. And right now you're in this place of. Where you're being blocked creatively. And you're at this point of change. You just need to walk over the bridge. But it's like. Don't scare yourself with the next 40 steps. That you don't even take the first one. Okay. Because you're blocked. There's blockages there. You understand. That's why you're not able to move forward. Do you see. Feeling blocked. Feeling restrained. And you've seen that devil energy is right there. And that's what you've been fighting. You've been fighting feeling blocked. You've been fighting feeling held back and feeling restrained by this situation. You know, it's like you don't even want to be. I'm sorry, I'm hot. Yo, I got to take this shirt off. You don't even want to be tied to this situation no more. This is the emperor. I feel like there is somebody from your past that really presented their self. Like an emperor, a very smart, very engaging individual. This person put their self off like they could be protective of you. Very trustworthy, very honorable. A good man would be a good father. You know, a good provider. Just everything. You know, just a good ass man. You know, and that's what you want. And I believe that you don't want no one playing around for play play. Okay? Listening to what he say, say, and he just for play, play. You ain't got no time for that. I don't care what you say, say. If you just for play, play, I'ma say nay, nay. Nay on an open sleigh. I'ma say no, okay? I'ma say no. I don't have time for the play, play. I only want a real emperor. I don't want someone that's controlling, but I want someone that is in control of their environment and knows how to hold shit down and don't play around. You know, an emperor don't play around, okay? They lead the army. They lead the pack. They look to him for command. The king calls the emperor to go take down people where there's treason, you know, where there's trespassers. This is the protector of the king. 
So, to some aspect, like, who really is running the fort? The person who is protecting the fort or the person who's sitting on the throne? You know, some people might look at, at, at men as like, okay, yeah, the, that's the king, that's the king. But it's something about that emperor, just that bravado, that, that mystique, that just... That shit is way more attractive. So it's like divine feminine. It's like I'm changing. And I'm trying to get to this. You know. I want a real emperor. I don't want no for, for play play. Listening to what he got to say say. I'm, whatever he got to say. It need to be actual factual. I don't have time for the play play. And that's why there's blockages. There's blockages. And I want to say, I'm, I'm here, I just heard, um, stop talking to your boss. There's somebody, there's somebody that is dealing with their boss. And it's a temptation that someone is trying to block because it's causing issues at their job. I just got that. I literally just got that. Some of y'all need to stop talking to y'all boss okay because it's going to turn into something very toxic that's going to get out of control i feel like this person is making himself appear to you because i mean this person in all right is a boss at work okay but spirit is trying to tell you because I, I feel like a lot of y'all y'all think y'all know what y'all doing no you need to shut your mouth and listen you don't fuck your boss do you hear me? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't shit where you eat at. Do you understand what I'm saying? So whoever's doing that, what I'm just being told, this emperor, this, this supervisor that you've been thinking about, I and, and I think that's what y'all, this right here where it's saying whatever you're thinking about doing it, doing, don't do it. I feel like some of y'all are possibly thinking about getting into something with one of y'all supervisors with y'all don't do it y'all 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 do not do that shit because it's going to listen and, and, and that's the whole thing it's like it's about change it's about change it's about change again it's about change and you got to understand you are going to be faced with fucking temptation and shit God be testing you to see what the fuck you going to do like, are you still going to be pulled into temptation? Yeah, this person seems, this, yeah, okay. This person is a boss at work, but once you get outside of that building, who is this motherfucker outside of this building? Okay, is this motherfucker just for play play? I feel like this is just for, for play play. And I feel like that's why some of y'all feel blocked and y'all feel restrained because throughout all of this changed and, and, and you've come so far, like you're literally, you're not at no obstacles and challenges is no more. You're not. You're right here at the brink of success. You're almost there. But it's just like, yeah, you're going to be pulled down. You're going to be pulled down. And just because, you know, just because <laughs> you got a choice. To do some fuckery and to move forward. That don't mean that you stand there and you stagnate yourself. And you even play with the idea of doing something that you know is beneath you. Now is not the time to even be like, come on. Come on. And I know that this energy is not for a lot of people. But I do feel like it is for someone. Because I heard that loud and clear in my motherfucking head. You need to stop talking to your supervisor. And then I feel like also for some of y'all, um, yeah, because y'all, it's like this emperor is like, he got like, he got something in his hand. And you see all of the birds, he got like little seeds in his hand. And you see all the little birds squawking all around him. And you see in his hand, you see he got. The little seed that he twirling around in his hand. And you see all the, the, the little birds at the bottom of his feet. Looking like, are, are you going to give me the seed? Are you going to give me the nut? 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 
Stop talking to this motherfucker. Because if you continue in this way, it's showing that you ain't truly learned nothing. You still giving in to temptation. But at the time, at, at right now, at this current time, you will fight in temptation. Continue to fight that shit. Because at the end of the day, if you give into this situation, you will not forgive yourself because you're gonna show you're gonna prove to yourself that you ain't learned nothing. That you ain't learned nothing. And that's, 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 that's not what we doing. That is not what we doing. Okay? And I know this was... This is honestly what I'm feeling. That's not what we doing. Because I'm, I'm feeling... I'm honestly... Because I, I know this had to been like this. This had to been like this. Because this motherfucker, this situation, this temptation that you're fighting right here, if you can get past this temptation, you will be successful. It'll make it better for you in your home and your lifestyle. And just, you know, it'll make your environment and just everything better. You got to learn how to fight the temptation and change. Don't let... And that's why I said I feel like y'all was standing at a crossroads or some shit like that. Y'all was standing at a crossroads. Feeling restrained. And I feel like, honestly, like, there's other jobs. If you if y'all got, like, a, a, a supervisor like this that be using his dick as payment in the job, like, stop talking to this motherfucker. Go find another. Y'all, there's better, there's better environments. Because I feel like if you don't fight this temptation and allow this shit to get into your money, you will never fucking forgive yourself. Because like I said, you're going to show yourself that you have not learned anything. And you will not forgive yourself for that, okay? Right now, you are trying to learn forgiveness so that you can change. Do you see? And I feel like maybe some of you guys are trying to find some forgiveness right now because we're even entertaining this situation with this supervisor. Like, I really do. Because y'all have choices. Like, you have, you have choices to engage with people like this. Okay? And you know better now. You know better now. And that's why I said you have choices and you feel block you feel like there's some blockages here. I feel like this this is something going on with the supervisor, y'all. It's really making me want to dig and figure out what the fuck is going on with the supervisor. What's going on with this supervisor? Please clarify the emperor. What's going on with this emperor? Please clarify this emperor, please. At least it ain't no divine masculine. But it's like you already went through the heartbreak. You got choices. And it's just like, I feel like you being, y'all feel like y'all are being fed to the wolves every time you go to work or some shit like that. Like, it says, you don't fear this person, but this person puts you in a space where you're not able to refocus. You're constantly at a crossroads. You're trying to get over at work and this shit started in the winter and right now you're looking for a new direction yeah y'all about to leave this job y'all about to leave this job you don't fear this situation with this emperor no more you like you're not about to let i'm not gonna let you control shit here like i don't want to fuck with you like that i'm not and i feel, I feel like y'all are like i'm not one of these little birds that be running around here squawking chasing after you and shit like that with what because you think with you big boss hog in here. You ain't big boss hog in the streets. I don't give a fuck about who the fuck you think you is in here. I'll just stop talking to you all together. Because at the end of the day, you ain't really all that cute. Or your dick really ain't that long for me to be like, mm-mm. I don't believe you. You need more people. I'm here to get my money. That's it. Big queen coin, okay? Big queen coin. That's all I'm here. I'm, I'm trying to change, like... You have no idea what the fuck I just got out of and you think I'm about to come to fucking work? <laughs> I'm about to come to work and be dealing with a whole bunch of pigeons? Huh. I will stop talking to you all together. And yeah, I'm not even going to lie. I might have entertained the idea of fucking with you. But I realized that was stupid and that was not the time. Mm -mm. I've overcome... Too many obstacles and challenges for me to even be like, I don't even know why you're my supervisor. Like, you shouldn't even be talking to me like this. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? 
and you're attractive but you want some whole whole shit like you're very unawakened and you don't have any spiritual values at all you're a fucking dog ass nigga so it's like i feel like some of you guys are thinking now like should i stay or should i go in this job you know i feel like y'all are looking to relocate to move move which we already know we're moving forward anyway because right now it's like you choosing who you will become and i don't think you want to become a part of that because your body is moving spiritually in a way that you never even thought was even possible and i feel like this creativity is being blocked due to you know what I'm saying? You feeling restrained and you feel blocked due to this bullshit that's going on here. You know? And you want a new direction. And you don't fear this shit no more. You don't fear just walking away from this situation. Because you need to be able to refocus and you can't refocus in this environment. And this person is trying to hold you back. I feel like this person is trying to hold your career back. And all this drama started, you know, last winter. And you looking for a new direction. You're like, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit. I, I sure the fuck won't. I sure the fuck won't. I sure the fuck won't. So for somebody that's dealing with some shit at work, listen, you have to focus and understand, listen, if this person is, unfor uh, is unawakened and forgiving them, because those dumb idiots, they don't know for what the fuck they do. They truly don't know what the fuck they're doing. You know? And they have to be some real low vibrational pieces of fucking shit for them to feel like, you're not that successful in your own personal life that you got to use your dick in your work environment in order for you to get ahead or for you to get your dick sucked like you're pathetic. Okay? And don't... And I feel like whoever the supervisor is, I mean, I'm not saying it like that because I feel like this person is very, very attractive. I'm not even about to, I'm not even about to hold you. I feel like this person is extremely attractive, but at the same time, like this person may be creating a toxic environment for you. And if this person is creating a toxic environment, like don't stand there in the threshold where you could just get up and leave, get the fuck up and leave. You understand what I'm saying? Like this, this emperor only holds power in that building, in that domain. If this situation is making you feel uncomfortable, were you ready to get up and leave? Get up and leave, baby. Okay? And I feel like y'all are going to be thinking about this shit this weekend. Because I want to say, honestly, I feel like this motherfucker is going to send you a message that you don't like. This person is going to send you a message that you don't like. And you're going to realize, I don't really like you like that, for real, for real. And I'm not necessarily too keen on the thought of me having to go to work and look at you every motherfucking day. When I know um, phew, I'm creative enough where I can plant a seed and it can grow somewhere the fuck else. You got all these other bitches squawking around you looking for a fucking seed, bitch. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't squawk looking for seeds, bitch. I, I literally have milk that pours from my titty, bitch. Okay? Fuck are you talking about? Not no chicken out here squawking. And I, I honestly feel like y'all gonna get a message and y'all not gonna fucking like that shit and you gonna realize I'm the fucking queen of coins out here. If you don't get the fuck off my phone with that dumb shit, I quit. As soon as I come to work on fucking Friday, I'm on Monday, I'm quitting. Or that, yeah, as soon as you come to work next Friday, I feel like y'all gonna take the week. Like maybe y'all possibly even have already been putting y'all applications out and shit like that. Because at the end of the day... It's like you want to be in a situation with something that is a lot more attractive. Uh, even your work environment. A uh, work environment that is a lot more attractive where you can enjoy yourself and stop and smell the roses. You don't want to be in an environment where you're being tempted to do shit where you'll never fucking forgive yourself. And you feel like you're not learning from anything. All the shit that you went through in love. That's stupid. That's stupid. Not when you motherfucker overcome all of these obstacles. The, the giving the temptation now. That's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. That's why y'all been fighting like shit. Y'all like, man, I, I know this motherfucker look good as shit, but I will not give into this motherfucking temptation. I know I was thinking about doing some dumb ass shit. I really was. Whatever you was thinking about doing it, don't do it because now it's not the fucking time. Okay? It's time for you to stop talking to this motherfucker and just shut your mouth. Go to work and shut your mouth and mind your business until you put in your fucking, um, 
your day's notice. I don't even feel like you're going to give them a, a two weeks notice. I feel like you're going to give them a day's notice. Like y'all going to drop a bomb on it on Friday. Um, I quit. I holler. Because <laughs> you're like, I feel blocked and I have choices. I don't have to stay here and work here. Fuck, I think I'm one of these goddamn birds. I ain't one of these goddamn birds. I'm focusing on who the fuck I am and where I'm a, a and what I'm I'm going to become. And y'all are blocking me getting to where I want to go and where I'm becoming. Like, no. And another thing, I'm not even about to be in denial about this. Because this person right here is in denial. It's in denial. Let me see what this say. Because I ain't even read them out to y'all. When they say dollars never be coming on CP time. No, dollars never coming on CP time. Reverse. Okay? Uncertain. That means fear of following advice and learning through experience. Wishing things were easier or more predictable. The belief that becoming who you wish to be ought to be simpler. Wanting another to do the work or solve the problems for you. Wanting support but unwilling to apply discipline or too scared to make the mistakes from which you will learn. Okay? And in this, choices. Let's see what this says. Choices. Okay? Choosing which way to go. A moment of decision. Uncertain of what is the best way and what to do next. Feeling like each door is closed. Wanting to reach the next stage of your life but not seeing a single way through. Okay? So, like I said, you guys are very close. And it's like, listen... I know that you wish things could be easier. I know that you didn't. You wish that you didn't have to deal with these assholes because it's like, you know, I just came through and I just went through all of this bullshit with my fake ass divine masculine. And last thing I need to be doing and dealing with is some fake ass pimp at my job. But guess what? You're going through this shit because God don't want you at that damn job. You better than that damn job, girl. You a fucking empress. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You are an empress. You compete with nobody. You play play with nobody. Do you get me? You compete with nobody. You play play with nobody. You are too busy with your body creating. You are manifesting. You are nurturing the earth. You are nurturing the earth's children. You are growing and you're helping other people grow. You are helping other people learn how to be a good mother to their children and to their plants and to their flowers and to their nature and to their universe because you're learning how to milk yours and how to feed yours, okay? You have to breast. You, you're not one of them lazy bitches. See, that's the thing. That is the thing. You got these new age mothers that want to have these Similac babies. No, we old school. We empress. We breastfeed our motherfucking babies. Do you see what I'm saying? This breastfed pimping here. Okay? Close to my heart. So this is... Uh, you can't be lazy. I know that you would have wished that things were easy and you ain't have to go through these constant... Moments of heartbreak and shit like that because yeah, it's like yeah, you get excited You see a sexy nigga at home, but really do you really want to fuck with your supervisor? No, cuz guess what when you marry him and it's all said and done And you at work and you thinking that your man is at work minding his business letting his bunion breathe Didn't he meet you when he fucking you at work? Would your mind really rest easy or would you end up here again? So that's not what you want beloved that is not what you want. You've worked too hard. Your body is growing abundantly. You don't have time for that. Bitch, I ain't got time for that. That should fuck up my bronchitis. Bitch, I ain't got time for that. Okay? Bitch, I ain't got time for that. Change in creative blocks, okay? Stop being scared of this change. You scared to take, you too busy worried about the 40 steps ahead in the future. You ain't even allow it to happen for you to take the first one. Stop worrying about the future and worry about what the fuck is now. Because you too busy in your head worrying about some shit that ain't even come yet. It's creating a creative block for you and you're not able to move forward. Move your fucking feet, okay? And stop it. I love y'all. I love y'all. And then whoever this is, y'all let me know down in them comments. Is, is any y'all dealing with a supervisor that's been flirting with y'all? 
And that's like a little Mac Daddy Daddy Mac at, at, at your job. And he been putting a little pressure on you. Because you, 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 your booty thick like Judy. Is your booty thick like Judy? Huh? What's the situation? What is the scenario going on with this emperor? Because I that, that is not the divine masculine. That is not the divine masculine. I cannot wait until the true divine masculine starts showing the fuck up in our readings. Ladies, I need us to collectively come together. One as a unit, okay? Mighty Morphin Power, okay? Let's go, bitch. Okay, can we Mighty Morphin Power, Ranger? Um, Pink Power Pussy uh, morph together, bitches? Come on, y'all. So we can get some, um... I'm ready to, listen, I'm ready to be in here like, yes, bitch! Y'all yeah, know how I, how I normally be when I be seeing all of the love, new love, and all that shit popping off in the readings and shit. I'm ready to scream, bitch. Ain't y'all ready to scream, too? I'm ready to scream, bitch. Ain't y'all ready because y'all dirty or us, too? I know y'all want to scream. Y'all want to be choked and all that shit because y'all just fucked up as I am. I already know it. That's why y'all watch my videos because we all crazy and we just want some good, 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 repeat it, good, good ass sex, I'm good ass man, what a good ass plan to marry us, okay, alright, bye, anyway, so listen, y'all ain't hear that, I don't, I, don't, I don't even know what that was, I don't even know what that was, anyway, bye y'all, whatever, oh, so if y'all want to read it, click the about tab, book, with um the booking link scorpion red tarot and simply book me then double back and make sure that you send me a message to instagram and or on google hangouts if this video resonated please let me know if any y'all deal with a uh, uh, summer and it don't necessarily even have to be um your supervisor it could just be a co-worker i feel like somebody in a work environment in a controlled environment just out there just trying to give out some seeds and some sunflowers. Anyway, let me go back.